happy Tuesday. Welcome to our two on Tuesday streams. And we haven't done a little laid back, quiet sunset bike ride in a while. We tried last week and then we had some last minute changes and pick deliveries to Old Town during Hell Week. So the island is still pretty busy, but I wouldn't consider it Hell Week anymore. We have moved into the high season. And we are starting here on Whitehead Street, corner southern, where we have the green parrot. Let me double check if we have sound. Yes, we do have sound. There we go. And we do have our dual camera setup. Hello, everybody. And I have no specific plan for this bike ride. Just thought we'll do a little laid back. Uh, maybe check in at the uh, southernmost point, checking out the buoy in the new year, and then of course head over to the Truman Waterfront Sunset where we haven't been in ages. And I think we should check out the uh, decorated house. So there's this one house here on Whitehead that keeps changing its uh, theme and they are normally super fast like the day after Christmas they already switched to a New Year's theme so given that we are January 3rd I wonder if we are I hate to rub it in, but we have really nice weather. We had a cold front and then it warmed up quite a bit, actually too much. And now we're back to, you know, the, the wind feels a little cool. Hemingway House to our left. And we're gonna have the lighthouse here to our right. Behind this big tree. So this is the first stream of our two on Tuesday. We'll have a second stream coming up later from the Salty Frog. A little live music. And guys, speaking about New Year's resolutions. So I think one of the big things that we would love to do in 2023, start streaming in 4K. So, uh, we thought about, you know, how can we do this and uh, we want to get you guys involved and uh, maybe have some testers. 
So uh, we are going to launch in one of our next streams. We are going to launch the uh, 4K Kong Clan kickoff um, web page or donation page. And uh, with that link, you can support us moving to 4K. As you can imagine, it obviously involves quite some equipment cost. And, uh, and everybody who contributes and helps us will get some exclusive invites to 4K streams from Key West. And for about a month, we're gonna do a test run with those streams accessible to uh, the launch group, basically. And then hopefully we'll be able to move to streaming to 4K for everybody later, about a month later, I think, you know, just to kind of work out the kinks. So if you're interested in helping us out move to 4K, and uh, if you're interested in seeing Key West in full high resolution, let me know. Um, as I said, I am going to set up a link soon, but until then, if you want to, you can drop us a line at media at rideontherock.live or message us on via our Facebook page, Ride on the Rock, if you're interested. I can give you more details. If you want to be part of our test group, our launch group, our 4K, Conkland 4K kickoff group. And it's very easy if you uh, actually I'm um, wanted to put all of that in writing but it's very easy if you want to and if you want to contribute you can go to our PayPal link and just make sure that in the PayPal donation you mention 4k Kong clan kickoff and that way we know who you are please also add your email address and that's where we're gonna send the link for the streams to and uh, those streams are going to be locations of your choice. So if you like, you can also add where you want to go doing that exclusive stream. So yes, keep an eye out on that. That is one of our New Year's resolutions for 2023 for our channel. And here we go. Look at how busy it is at the southernmost buoy. We still have a Christmas tree, we still have the menorah here. And we have a very, very long, long line. Very long line. We still have a Christmas tree here at the southernmost buoy. And I actually got a sneaky Santa gift today. Because, you know, we had two groups. We created a second smaller group as well for those who were late for the first group. And uh, I got my sneaky Santa today. Thank you so much. You know who you are. We are going to order that cheese. <laughs> Thanks, Raven. Ooh, exciting. I see you've got some kittens being born right now. Raven and Rigger Bob. Nothing. 
something like a little New Year's kitten. So let's check out the Atlantic on this side and then we'll head over to the Truman waterfront on the other side of the island. Interesting, it seems pretty windy here. You don't feel it when you're in the streets. Captain Clockett's last ride with his Christmas hat. It's actually already coming off. Come here. One last ride. No. He's tired of it. I guess next up I'm gonna get him some bunny ears. So the sunset is obviously already moving back. <laughs> Marshall Harry, I am 
proud to announce that this is not an electric trike. And you have no idea how much I wish it was. It is not. It is a no gear trike. Now, trikes are really cool for parades and everything because you can just sit on them. Um, that's pretty neat for the full moon bike rides, etc. However, you know, just to get from point A to point B just feels like it's way more work than a regular bike. But you know, if you have time and you just cruise the island, there's nothing like a little trike with a little drink. And if you're just joining us, welcome to Key West as we roam the little back streets. We're currently in the Bahama Village area. And we are headed over to the Truman Waterfront for the sunset. So we're kind of randomly cruising the little back streets here. This little street here, believe it or not, is Truman Avenue. After the US one turns on Whitehead, the street continues and becomes this little one-way street.
Hey, thank you, Tim, for the super chat. Some of our hardest hit area here during Hurricane Ian. Lots of flooding here. So tonight we're going to access the Truman waterfront, not via the Truman Annex, but here via the back street. So there are several ways of getting there. Well, here we have the old football fields. Ooh, and it looks like we're going to have some nice colors for the sunset. Feels like it's been ages until we've been to the Truman waterfront. We managed to... Um, check out the sunset on Mallory Square last week. The chicken's favorite time of the day in Besides the morning snacks and the sun rises, over here we have the little pantry and we are turning onto this road here between the old football fields and it's going to lead us pretty much straight to the uh, Truman Waterfront Park and the Ingham. So this is a good way to keep in mind if you headed over to a concert at the amphitheater, for example. Sunset in five minutes. Hollywood would like to know if we have alligators in Key West. Sorry if I miss your questions. It's kind of hard to read the chat while riding a bike. And uh, yes, we do have alligators, but not here in Old Town. Um, the ones we mainly hear about are out on the golf course. So that's where we have, where you might encounter some, uh, <laughs> some alligators, but not you know, as much as in other parts of Florida. So 
So welcome to the Truman Waterfront Park. Straight ahead of us is the Coast Guard ship, the Ingham. And we're right on time. Sunset is in four minutes. Look at how many people there are here. Normally it's really quiet here, but it is high season. Happy New Year! Our first sunset stream of 2023.
So the further away you move from the Ingham, the quieter this area gets. Here at the Truman Waterfront Park. Because it actually does not connect straight ahead to the downtown and Mallory Square area. So there is no bridge here, so it's cut off. Which is a blessing and a curse. Because it means that, you know, it's staying quiet here. Which is nice. It also means that it's kind of difficult to get to the Truman Waterfront. It's a little far to walk, so I highly recommend a bike. Although there is definitely more parking space here than at Mallory Square, if you really want to come by car. And there goes the Key West Express. Let me see if I can zoom in. Where's the Key West Express? ships of the seas would like to know if there are any seaplanes in Key West. Um, there actually is a seaplane that goes out to uh, Fort Jefferson. Yes, there is. So you can go to a day trip on the ferry. It's going to take you quite some time to get there. And uh, you can also get a seaplane to go over there. We have seaplanes. We do have tiny little airplanes, like eight-seaters that go over to Havana as well, I think like three times a week. And they're the kind of planes where you can actually open the window <laughs> while, you, while you fly, you don't fly very high on them. With Air Havana. Hey, Missy Tammy, I'm excited to have you guys here for your birthday week. Um, I am trying to log into my bot account and I'll have the bot send po post a link in the chat that is going to link you to the locally owned small Airbnbs. So not the, uh, the big 
corporate ones, but the small family businesses here in Key West. And uh, let me see if I can get the bot to post it. So keep an eye out for that. And if anybody is interested, it's a, it's a Google link, so I think you can download the list. There we go, it should be posting at any time. that list and I'm also going to try to copy it so there is a list to the uh, locally owned small Airbnbs the independent ones you might have to look up the location a little bit I think I was able to figure out the streets Bob, three kittens now. I hope we get to see some pictures. How cute we have a live birth during our stream here, a live kitten birth. Riga Bob and Raven are having kittens. Now I don't want to stop the stream, I kind of want to know how many we end up having. update later in the second stream so Gabe will be live from the salty frogs around 7.15 later today so uh, we'll be awaiting a kitten update please <laughs> the sun has set here in Key West. The moon is rising. It's a beautiful night on the island. Pretty mild. Current temperature 80, well 79, not 80, 79 just changed. 79 degrees feels like 84. See Missy Tammy, the timing is perfect. You're arriving on time. If you want to drop by at Captain Tony's saloon and say hi. And yes, that Sunday is one of the Sundays where Gabe is playing at Schooner Wharf. From 
7 till 11, 6 30 ish, 7 until 11 at night. So guys, it's time for me to head home and then hand over the stream to Gabe. So next stream tonight at 7.15 for some live music and a kitten update. <laughs> and uh, I'm taking you guys out of the Truman Waterfront Park via the Truman Annex. This used to be the only roundabout in Key West. We now have two. The other one is closer to the amphitheater. Well, actually one and a half. I don't think the other one actually counts as a full-blown roundabout. So let's say we have one in all of Key West. Kitten number three is all white with some gold patches. Thank you for the update, Rigabob. And we're gonna end the stream where we started at the Green Parrot here on the corner of Whitehead and Southern Street. The famous bench here at the uh, corner store across from the green parrot a local's favorite and I don't know if you've actually sh if I've actually shown you the new version quiet tonight at the parrot guys and here is the famous bench the one human family bench So here we go. Thank you everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed our little backstreet bike ride. We have the moon here 
over the green parrot and again I'll be handing over to Gabe who's gonna be live from the salty frog at 715 so in a little over an hour if you wanna hang out a little longer in Key West listen to some music make some song requests tune in in an hour here on Ride on the Rock take care everybody thanks for joining me tonight and I see you guys tomorrow Captain Tony's and later in the chat see you guys bye